There is a very sad moment for us, particularly the people of Wajia East constituency. The major market, Soko Mujinga, is right on fire. You can be able to see it. It has been on fire for the last 40 minutes. You can see it. This is where a number of mothers, a number of women, a number of youth used to hike livelihood from this market. You can be able to see it. This, they used to sell clothes, garments, they sell vegetables, they sold everything which has been sold here. And there's a lot of goods which has been sold in this market. And they used to hike livelihood from it. You can be able to see it. It is completely destroyed in the last 40 minutes. You can be able to see this fire is on. We are not able to get the necessary support as desired. The only fire brigade which is within the, uh, within the county government is here. It is lacking water. It's not strong enough to curtail the fire. You can be able to see it. We sent a military a message so that they can be able to avail the brigade which is the, with, the, with the Minister of Defense in the Kenya Airport, KAF. And up to now, in the last 40 minutes after our plea and our request, that fire brigade has not been able to come. You can be able to see it. It is ravaging everywhere. It is moving from one corner to the other. This is the problem we are facing. This is another Gikomba. We have lost a lot of properties elsewhere in other, other places. And this is our Gikomba. Today, the Sokomujinga, which is our Gikomba, which is our lifeline for a number of mothers, a number of youth are having this problem today, you can be able to see it. And there's total lack of preparedness, both by the county government and the national government to curtail disasters like this one. This is a problem we have it, and certainly we are going to have lost a lot of properties and a lot of millions of wealth have been lost by these mothers. We will be able to do in the interim, maybe hopefully tomorrow after we are able to curtail this and assess the damages, what has been there and what has been lost and certainly we cannot be able to recover. And even well wishers, we request well wishers wherever they are to come in support of these mothers whose livelihood, whose early source of livelihood have been destroyed. We appeal to, the, to, to, to Red Cross, we appeal to the national government. This is the only lifeline and the support we have had and it's completely destroyed. You can be able to see an appeal to them so that we can be able to aid and support these mothers as death use whose only livelihood has been destroyed. This is a disaster and there are so many other disasters that are in the waiting. This is today Sokomujinga. Tomorrow it can appear in Orelli Market. So this is a problem which has been there and there's total lack of preparedness. We are using all manner of rudimentary method to control the fire. You can be able to see it. all manner of rudimentary to control it. The fire. We cannot be able to control it. You can see it. Everybody can be able to see it. Young men, women, youth, everybody is using all manner of rudimentary method to control the fire. The fire brigade lacking water. The army, the Kenya Airport Authority, which has housed a very powerful brigade, is not able to come and bring it here and to support this. So this is, we are pathetic. We have lost hope. This is what we suffered in this area. So we are wishing everybody else, wherever they are in the country, to come to their aid so that we can be able to restore hope to these mothers whose livelihood has been lost. So thank you very much.